Hey everyone, my name is Hayden and welcome to my channel. In this video, we'll be adding a weather utility to our CLI program, giving us the ability to request the current and forecasted weather for any location in the world. So today we're building our first utility into EVE. It's going to be a weather API that has two endpoints. Current, which displays the current weather for today, and forecast, which displays the forecast for that week. Cool, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to openweathermap.org. This is the API that we are gonna use in order to get our forecast and weather information. All you need to do is go to the website, go to API. We're using the one API call, um, hit subscribe. It's free so, and then click here so you can say get API key, create yourself an account and it will generate you an API key. So the other package we are gonna use in order to interact with OpenAPI is um, Pi Open Weather Map. Uh, this is just kind of a wrapper around the um, API that allows you to call kind of like weather manager, get weather at place. Uh, the reason I chose to do this rather using than the request packages because we can put in arbitrary strings like this, like London GB rather than with Open Weather API, you have to put in your longitude and latitude, which is a bit fiddly. So for this tutorial, we're just gonna use this um, nice package. Okay, so I've just opened up our project in PyCharm. So if you joined us in the last tutorial, you should be up to this point where um, we have a CLI that when you type Eve, um, it echoes out this uh, string in here. Now, before we kind of start adding all these utilities and packages, it's going to get, this file is going to get very uh, big and very long with all the different kind of codes and it's going to become very confusing. So what I want to do before we kind of start this is just think about the long-term scalability of the EVE project and what we can do in order to kind of handle the easier management of all these files. So what we don't want is a huge CLI.py with everything in it. What we kind of want is separate um, files or directories where we can store things. So what I'm going to do is come into the eve folder, create a new uh, Python package called commands. This is where all our commands are going to sit. And I'm also going to create another package called uh, service. And this is where all our services are going to live. So what I want to do with these package structures is basically have all the commands that we can type into Eve. So for example, like Eve, uh, weather will all live under the commands um, directory and all the kind of Python logic code will live under the services um, Python directory. So it's kind of a nice separation of responsibilities. So our function down here has kind of no idea about the commands or services packages. So what we need to do is make clip aware of them and load them when this script is loaded and run. So what I did is I went over to the click uh, documentation and kind of went down to this um, complex examples with plugin loading. And um, there is some code in here that basically overwrites an object. So I'm gonna just basically copy this, paste it into our script. It overwrites or uses this click multi command and overwrites two functions in, in it called list command and get commands. Um, and all these do is go for a commands folder, try to find any files that start with CMD um, and sorts them, and returns them, and it, that allows click to use those um, scripts as a command. And it also tries to get command is loading that file and um, importing CLI a function from CLI in that file and then making that available to the um, package at runtime. First off, what we need to do is just kind of like edit this for our use case. So I've just imported the OS package there. Rather than having a variable here that looks for the command folder, uh, what I'm just gonna do is set it to, um, what I'm gonna say here is just os.path.join. The uh, directory of this file is in, which will be eve, and then join that on commands and that will um, basically look inside our commands folder. I'm not really that interested in uh, prefixing all of our commands in the command folder with CMD. Um, so we can kind of ignore that. I'm just gonna say, um, doesn't start with um, init, because I don't want it to load the init file inside commands, I want it to load every other file. Uh, and then all we need to do down here is just um, strip out the .py from every file that it loads with nothing. Um, sort them alphabetically and return them. So that is now going to, um, when we run our click package, it's going to try to list commands and by listing commands, it will loop through the commands directory in here and find anything that's a Python file that doesn't start with um, a double underscore 
uh, sort them alphabetically and return them. So again, down here, this is when we actually run a command, it goes off and gets it. Um, so here we've obviously, because we've ripped it out of their complex example, we need to change this from complex.commands to eve.commands. So it's gonna load eve.commands and then rather than cmd, name we're just going to call our name and it's going to look for a um, function in there called cli and import that that is pretty much all we need to do and we just need to make our little um, function down here aware of it and all to, you need to do there is say that the class is a complex cli um, and then we can get rid of this hit pass uh, give this a nice doc string saying like welcome to eve um, and you can see if I come down here now and type Eve, uh, it says welcome to Eve and you can see um, it's tried, it, it's not failed basically, which is a good sign. Um, but what it's not doing obviously is, is loading anything. So what we can do now is come into commands and add a new Python file called weather, which is gonna store all our weather commands. Um, and in here, I'm just going to import click. You might not be able to see that. So let me just make that a little bit bigger. I'm gonna import click. Uh, I'm going to make a function called CLI that just click um, echo hello everyone and this needs to be a click command with two spaces and a space at the bottom and then you can see here if I clear the screen and type eve now you can see we've got a command called weather because basically what it's done is when I've typed eve it's come into CLI it's because it knows that the class is overrighted here with complex CLI, it's looped through our commands, loaded weather. So you can see actually, if I change this to, for example, change the name of this to weather new name, for example, refactor that and then type Eve again, you can see our command is weather new name. So it's basically just loading that script at runtime um, and importing everything into it. So you can see now I can type Eve uh, weather or new name and it will and it will run um, hello everyone so what I'm going to do is just change that back to obviously not that and call it uh, weather so we can actually get rid of that file now and we can put all of our commands for weather in here cool so obviously our weather commands isn't very useful at the minute because all it does is print out that so um, what we want is a one method that um, shows you the current weather and another one that is um, a forecast of the weather so um, in order to do this all we need to say is um, create a click group and this can just be pass and we can give this a nice doc string like uh, weather info and then down here we can say that this is a cli.command this is also a cli.command and now you should be able to see if I come down here and go Eve weather, it gives me two options now. So I've got current and forecast. So we can now kind of put all of our Python logic code in here. Um, so what I want to do here is essentially talk this, this function will now talk to the service, the weather service that we'll create, request the information and get it back. So before we do that, there's also something in um, Click called a context, which basically means rather than having, rather than both of these um, endpoints to have like an option that you can pass like location from, uh, you can use a context to kind of store information about um, requests or the, like kind of the currently executing commands and pass uh, relative information to them. So what I'm going to do is make location a um, location a parameter that we pass through to all the commands um, which I'll just store in an object and I'm also going to create a weather uh, which will be our weather object that we will create in a minute um, and all to do this I, can, I just need to type down here click um, pass context um, and also tell context to come through here and then I do initially say context object equals a context object um, and location because obviously we're passing location into the init file here um, but obviously how does location get in here so you can basically click uh, you can give um, options um, to say I want to take options on the command line so we can say um, we can give two types of options you can either type uh, dash l or dash dash location uh, the type of it will be a string um, and the help text for this will be 
uh, weather at this location. Um, and obviously location will get passed in. There we go. Um, so if we go to, if we, now we can pass context. Oh, I need a click pass context there and a click pass context there. So now all of these commands will get a context. Um, so for example, if we do current, we can actually ask the context, the object dot location, and we can actually print this out. So if we do click dot echo, Uh, it's going to complain because weather is an imported. So what I'm going to do is create a new file in service, a Python file called weather. This is just going to be an empty class called weather, which will fill out in a second. Um, cool. Let's go back here and then from Eve dot service import weather. And this can be weather dot weather. What's complaining about there? Seems to have no effect because I'm missing an equal sign. Um, so yeah, you can see here if I come now and go eve.weather.current, uh, it doesn't print out anything, but for example, I can, well, actually, let's show you this. Eve.weather, and it says I've got an option that I can pass L, which is the weather at this location. So I can say Eve weather dash L, uh, let's just do London, um, and then current. And then you can see it prints out London. So you can see that I'm passing this information through to all the sub commands by using this pass context. Hey guys, it's Hayden from the future here. Whilst I was editing the footage for this video, I realized that setting up the project actually took quite a long time. So what I'm going to do is split them out into two parts. So the first part, which is the part that you've just watched, is setting up the entire project. Um, we need to do this because it kind of helps us with the longevity of the product. It makes it down the line a lot easier and a lot quicker to maintain and extend. Um, and then in part two, we're actually going to code the Weather API. So I'll leave a link to part two in the description, but be sure to check that out. Apologies if you're going to watch this video and you think that you're going to get it all in one. Um, just it was going to turn into a 20, 25 minute video if I didn't. So um, I think you would kind of prefer two 10 minute videos that you can skip through rather than one kind of colossal video. I think it's a bit intimidating to see a 20 minute coding video and um, so I'll leave a link in the description be sure to check that one out and we'll actually be doing the coding for the weather API in that one thank you very much for watching guys and see you in the next video